As we head over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, the weekend is here, and I heard you saying something along the lines of spring-like forecast, which yes. we all know could mean anything here in East Texas. Y yes, yes, and maybe the first thing you think about might be a storm threat, and yeah, that chance looking possible into next week. The warm-up doesn't really start until about Monday, so we're still going to be looking at cool temperatures, but the key for us is that the wind will be a lot lighter and the sun will dominate for us this weekend. That will be a plus. Look at the peak wind gusts today, 25 to about 35 mile an hour gusts over our area, stronger out to the west. The good news for tonight and into the day tomorrow is that the wind will be a lot lighter. Right now, it's light to almost calm in some locations, and that's allowing us to have a pretty chilly night in progress. We're looking at low 40s, but notice some of our outlying locations in the 30s, including Henderson, already at the freezing mark. Athens at 39, 41 Gilmer, and in Lufkin, Nacogdoches 37, Marshall at 42, and Center at a temperature of 36 degrees. Here are our lows and where we will be as we head towards tomorrow morning, tracking low 30s to some upper 20s. I think our breeze will increase just a bit as we get toward daybreak. Some patchy frost, but more of a freeze concern than a frost concern for us. 30 in Longview, Henderson, you're at 32 now. About 29 in the morning, about 30 in Nacogdoches, 31 in San Augustine. Groveton will begin the day at 32, and we will have more sunshine tomorrow. There's your wind a lot lighter, breezy at times, 10 to 15 miles an hour as we reach the low and the mid 50s. Now, we will have some passing clouds late tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. No precipitation is expected, and then on Sunday, we get more sunshine as we begin to warm back up here in our area. So the breakdown of the weekend. 53 on Saturday, but Sunday we could touch near 60 degrees in the afternoon. Let me show you next week's weather setup for us. We'll track a cold front that will arrive on Tuesday, and with the southeast wind, we'll get some showers with that front as it comes through. That front will stall out near Interstate 10 and then work its way back northward as a warm front as we get into our Wednesday. So some showers again Tuesday into Wednesday, but more so the better rain chances probably holding off until about Thursday where we'll have to monitor the possibility of a couple of heavier showers and thunderstorms. Maybe a risk for severe weather. That's still a question mark right now, but rain chances are expected for us next week. Here's your spring like weather coming on the seven day forecast 62 Monday, Tuesday, mid 60s. Some of us could come close to 70 and we're going to be in the 60s, maybe some upper 60s next week. Deep East Texas, great weekend of weather up ahead. We got some cold mornings, but some nice afternoons. Oh, yes, that weekend looks fabulous. All right, Marcus, thank you and thank you.